is um, a dessert smoothie. And this one is really, really delicious and something to be served at parties and um, it'll definitely hold its own with any gourmet cooked food. And it's a really delicious one. So you can use the coconut for this one. Yeah. So coconuts are an amazing plant. Coconuts are the purest source of water on earth because literally the water in a coconut has been filtered through an entire palm tree for a year. Wow. That's one heck of a filter. Wow. They're full of electrolytes, antioxidants. Some people say coconut water can replace mother's milk. It's so nutritious. Just a, a wonderful, wonderful food. They say you could put it in your IV. It's that yeah, clean. It's been done. Really? It's been done. Well, I don't know if you guys have all seen a wild coconut. When you pick it off the tree, it looks like this. Kind of like a large, heavy green football. <laughs> and um, Anand will show us how to whack, crack into this thing. But I'm going to show you how to get into one of these coconuts. It's kind of been shaved already. Very easily. And safely, so you don't cut your fingers off. You want to keep them on. So. What you do is you get a small knife and start shaving to the shell, to the hard shell that we're all used to seeing. Just start shaving around in a circle. Coconuts, after they fall off of the palm tree, can live in the desert for an hour without any rain. It's a seed that has its own water supply. It's a pretty intelligent plant that can grow seeds with their own water supply and nutrition. That's why they're so, the water is so nutritious. How long can they live for? Coconuts can keep for a long time. But in the desert, how long did you say? For a year without rain. Oh, I said an hour. Oh, I said an hour. <laughs> right. That's not very impressive. Knife into the shell and you just tap it in. And because coconuts have a circular grain, this coconut is pink. You see that? So this is a fermented coconut. No, not really. But here's how you avoid that, okay? You can you'll never go wrong with finding a wrong coconut ever. Finding a fermented coconut if you shake it first. If you can hear the water sloshing around inside, then there's air and the air causes fermentation. If you can't hear it, like you can't hear it in this one, that means that it's full of water, so there can't be fermentation. And um, that's pretty much a foolproof test. That's what a good coconut looks like. Nice and white. See the difference? So, we're going to use the coconut water. Here. And... Sergi... I need a volunteer who will come and scoop this oh, out for me. Because this could take a little while. So you just scoop it out with a spoon or a spatula. Thank you. Okay. So, here's... If you like to cook and you know all of your spices, use those skills in the kitchen with the raw foods. If you want to put a little nutmeg in here, or a little cinnamon, do it. It would taste really good. So use all your chef skills. And we're going to use a mild flavored greens because I really want to be able to taste that coconut. I'm going to put some um, vanilla bean in there. And for sweetness, I'm going to use dates, which also have that soluble fiber. Are they pitted? Yes, they are pitted. If you don't have those pits, those pits won't blend up. They're also solid wood. I'm trying to get all the woody bits off this too, so we don't get the wood from the coconut. That's okay. If there's a little wood yeah. from the coconut, that's okay. Alright, let's see. What else should I put in there? How about some grapes in there? Yummy. Yeah. Tastes good. Grapes are really sweet, so very appropriate for a dessert smoothie. Have they got seeds in? These grapes are seedless. They don't have seeds. But optimally, we will choose choose foods that do have seeds, like watermelons that have seeds. 
because plants that don't have seeds are a plant that is committing suicide, genetic suicide, like I don't want there to be any more of this species. <laughs> so um, always pick watermelons with seeds because they're genetically stronger. When you eat genetically strong foods, it makes you stronger. So they just made oranges without seeds in the United States is what I hear. I don't know why. Does the seeds really bother <laughs> this up? So here we have a really tasty smoothie. Let me confirm that. <laughs>